books, books. I like books. I'm going to read them all. Hi, readers. Chris here. Welcome to my channel where I review fantasy, Stephen King, all sorts of books. And today I'm doing something I haven't done in a hot minute, and that is opening up my Owl Crate book box. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that I've kind of been struggling with Owl Crate a little bit. Um, I just, I haven't been the biggest fan of the books that they've been picking out. Now, I did also sign up for their adult fantasy box, and I'm having better luck with those. However, the adult boxes don't come with all the goodies that the YA ones do. So I'm still subscribed to them for now. However, I'm really considering canceling my YA subscription and just doing the adult. But for now, I did want to open up this January box and I wanted to do it with you. So let me switch the camera angle, see if uh, Roscoe and Swiper are around and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this. The babies are excited. So let's pop this open and see what's inside. Dun, dun, da, da. All this packaging, yay, which I'm sure Roscoe is going to love <laughs> digging in. Oh, Swiper, can you guys help me? Can you help me figure out what's in here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so here we go. The theme of this box is Enchanted to Meet You. So let me put the spoiler card to the side. And right on top, it looks like we have our pin. Every year they do a, a themed pin collection. I have no idea what their theme is for this year. So let's pop it open, see what it is. Are you helping, Roscoe? Oh, you're such a big help. And it looks like we have, ooh, Perfect Pairing Collection. That's really, really pretty. It looks like, I don't even know what you would call this. Is it two? No, it's just one pin, but it's like two pins on top of each other. And the first one is like a frame of a lady. It looks like she's got fire in her hands and a goat buyer. And then the second one that's underneath, but you can see it through, is a guy. I honestly, I have no idea what this is. So let me check out the spoiler card. Okay. So this pin is supposed to be Howl and Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. Slide the pins together and you have Sophie bringing Calcifer to Howl. Okay. So these slide together somehow. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. So they slide apart and then they slide together. That's pretty cool. That's definitely um, an interesting take on the whole pin thing. So that's cute. Let's move it to the side and keep going. Thanks, Swiper. You guys are such a big help. All right, next up we have a bag here. Let's unzip this and see what's inside. Dun, 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 dun. And we have, I'm assuming this is some sort of a, yeah, it's a tote bag. A tote bag that says the howl in Roscoe. I can't see. I can't see, buddy. In for travelers and adventures. So it's just like a an ivory, a beige tote. And we've got, it looks like some harvesty colors. So oranges and reds and greens, a lantern on top, some apples maybe, some mushrooms. That's super cute, a super cute tote bag. Once again, I don't know what it's from, so let me check the spoiler card. Okay, it says this tote is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart. Now, I only read Once Upon a Broken Heart once, and I wasn't the biggest fan, so... I don't remember this one, or, like, that doesn't 
scream once upon a broken heart to me, but I will uh, take it at its word. <laughs> Roscoe, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Roscoe is going nuts over here. Come on, baby. Come on, Roscoe. <laughs> okay, they are playing in the uh, the filling here. Huh? Who's being so goofy? Who's being so goofy? Get it. Get it. Okay, let's keep going. So next up, it looks like a little package of colored pencils. Swiper is really interested in those. Can you help me open these, Swiper? Can you help me open these? Yeah? You're such a good help. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I already, I already ripped it trying to open it. Okay. So, yep, it is a set of colored pencils. We have purple, pink, Green, blue, yellow, violet, the colors of the rainbow. Well, thanks, Rasco. Um, historical romance coloring kit. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> thanks, Rasco. You're such a big help. Um, oh, you're he's biting it. <laughs> Thank you, Rasco. You're such a big help. Thank you so much. Um, again, I don't know what these are from, but Maybe they go with something. So let's put this to the side. Can you move, Roscoe? And uh, we'll keep going. Next up, I see uh, Creatures and Companions from Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I am actually reading this right now. Really enjoying it. So let's see what this is. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, and it is, oh, it's a bookmark. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a metal bookmark, but it has like pieces of it cut out. That's so pretty, isn't it, Swiper? We've got um, a doggy on it. I'm assuming that's her dog, Shadow. And in the background, we have a forest. Oh, we've got some skulls on the bottom. Really pretty trees with green leaves and some red fruits. That is super pretty. I really like that. I'm a huge fan of metal bookmarks, and that's really cool. Definitely going to be using this one, so... Let's uh, put that to the side. Keep going. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I'm assuming this came apart. Reusable dishcloth. Oh, that's, that's different. I don't even know how to explain what this feels like. It's like, it feels like a cross between a fabric dishcloth and a paper towel. If you're afraid of your own dreams, you're welcome in mine. Huh. We've got a big moon in the middle, stars, clouds. That's kind of neat. But I don't think I've ever gotten anything like this from Owl Crate before. And this is inspired by <laughs> Strange the Dreamer, a.k.a. inspired by Roscoe. Oh my goodness, you guys are really excited about this box. I know, because Mommy hasn't done one in a while. So that's pretty cool. All right, I will set to this to the side and keep going. Next up, uh, what is this? It's a black and white card that says, You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Oh, I'm wondering if this goes with the um, the uh, colored pencils. <laughs> Roscoe, are you being crazy over there? Let's see if I can actually get this open. Oh, you're such a big help, Roscoe. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's literally just a... Uh, oh, there's multiple cards in here. Okay, cool. The second one says, I love you with everything I am. So I'm assuming we can use the colored pencils to color these cards. Very nice. Let's see what they, oh, oh my God. And there's another one. There's three. Woohoo. For where all love is speaking. Wait, for where all love is, the speaking is unnecessary. Okay, I feel like I didn't say that right. Uh, let's see what this was inspired by. Here we go. 
Enter the elegance of the Regency world with our coloring kit and postcards inspired by Bridgerton, Outlander, and Pride and Prejudice. All right, so we got some <laughs> love little cards here and we can use the uh, colored pencils to color them in. That's pretty cute. All right, let's move it to the side and I think that's it except for the book. Let me just double check really quick. Yep, so that brings us to our book. So let me clear everything out of the way so that we can take a closer look at this. So this month's book is A Fragile Enchantment by Allison Saft. Never heard of her before. Obviously, this is a <laughs> romanticy because, you know, it's romance month, February. This is a beautiful cover. It's very much like has that fairy tale aesthetic so it's like pale whites and pinks and yellows and purples and it looks like there is this magical door with these beautiful curtains coming out of it these pretty flowers and on the back it says this has been a fairy tale all along more pretty flowers and some golden uh sparkles here Let's see what's on the inside cover. Ooh, that's so pretty. Isn't it, Roscoe? So pretty. The um, <laughs> the hard case says, has all this green foiling on it. So pretty. Lots of flowers. And in the middle, we have some pages that say the tattler. That immediately reminds me of Bridgerton. I don't know if that's what it was called, the tattler, but it reminds me of that, like, gossip paper that the one uh, lady was doing and then on the back it says something has begun to bloom in what has lain fallow i love the pale pink and then the pale pink uh sprayed edges here i don't think i have many books that are this color so that's just so pretty and then, of course, we have our reversible dust jacket, which is just so gorgeous. It reminds me of, like, sitting in a greenhouse. So all, like, the, the glass windows, all the plants, hanging plants, the sunshine shining through the top, all of the flowers and the colors of the flowers. And then we have a, a lady and a man. The lady is reading a book. She's wearing, like, a very Bridgerton-esque dress, and I feel like his, uh, his little fluffy, I don't know what you want to call it there, is very, uh, Bridgerton-esque. So, let's see what this book is actually about. Do you want to see what the book is about, huh, Roscoe? Huh, Roscoe? Wah! <laughs> okay, so, this book says... I am never going to be able to pronounce this name, but let's just say uh, Niame O'Connor Claire has never let herself long for more. The magic in her blood that lets her stitch emotions and memories into fabric is the same magic that will eventually kill her. Determined to spend the little time she has left guaranteeing a better life for her family, Niam jumps at the chance to design the wardrobe for a royal wedding in the neighboring kingdom of Avaland. But Avaland is far from the fairy tale she imagined. While young nobles attend candlelit balls and elegant garden parties, unrest brews among the working class. The groom himself, Kit Carmine, is prickly, abrasive, and begrudgingly being dragged to the altar as a political pawn. But when Niam and Kit grow closer, an unlikely friendship blossoms into something more. Until an anonymous gossip colonist starts buzzing about their chemistry, promising to leave them alone only if Niam helps to uncover the royal family secrets. The rot at the heart of Avalan runs deep but exposing it could risk a future she never let herself dream of and a love she never thought possible. Transporting readers to a Regency England-inspired fantasy world, A Fragile Enchantment is a sweeping romance threaded with intrigue, unforgettable characters, and a love story for the ages. Swoon! Okay, so y'all know I'm not the biggest, you know, romance person, but hey, at least this book is being very upfront with what it is. It's definitely giving me Bridgerton vibes, Pride and Prejudice vibes, all of the uh, romanticy vibes. So 
I don't know. It looks so pretty. I have to give it a try. Um, but like I said, I am struggling with whether or not I want to keep getting these books. Um, so we'll see how this one turns out. So that is it for this month's Owl Crate book box. We've got our book. We've got our reusable napkin. We've got our colored pencils, our cards, our cool pin, our pretty bookmark, and our, uh, and our Roscoe. I think that's it for this month. So let me know what object you think you would like the best. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel for more bookish stuff and more furry friends coming your way soon. All right, everyone. Happy reading. Pow, pow. Oh my goodness.